Hi guys, I'm Tammy and I am bringing you a $5.5 five prep and this is uh, part of the Sassy Gal Prepping Challenge. Basically on Fridays we show you our $5 hauls. I have a receipt because I wanted to show you. So it was $5.26 at my Walmart. Sorry, I kind of taped it up because it kept opening up. Um, all right, so and it's, you know, it's getting harder to find items that are like a dollar or less, but I managed to get all of these things for $5, which is awesome. I'm gonna start off with the flour. And just so you know, this is a two pound bag of flour. It's not very big, but the Dollar Tree is $1.25 now. This was $1.16, so it's still cheaper to get your small bags of flour if you have a Walmart. And my thought process was you can make tortillas with this, flour, salt, warm water. Now, if you do have oil, it does make it, or any sort of um, like lard or fat, it does make it better. <laughs> but if you don't have it with just this and salt and water, you can make a batch of tortillas. They won't, they won't stay like super soft for days, but like, let's say you just make it a batch right now for dinner or just like the day of you're gonna use them, they'll stay, they'll be perfect, even without the lard. These beans are 78 cents. So I figure take about a quarter of this can, smash it up. They're chili beans, but you can smash them up because they're actually like the pinto beans. And then you can have more like a refried bean, but like in this nice sauce with the batch of this. And then if you have cheese or anything else you can put in it, I was thinking cheese and bean burritos because this is what's in your pantry for $5. And I figure you kind of mix this with fresh fruit, veggies, frozen items, things out of like your fridge and freezer. I always have cheese in my house. So I figured that this would be a cool meal because I want to give you not just my haul. I want to give you ideas on how to use these things in like your daily life. Um, I needed baking soda, so I picked that up. The baking soda was 72 cents, which is, you know, it's shocking. These used to be like 50 cents. Oh, and you know what? The reason this haul was more than I thought, because I thought it was only, Sly, come over here, Sly. Or not. <laughs> uh, I thought it was 518, but I forget that there is a eight cents bag charge and that's been like that in Washington for a while. I forgot my bag so I had to pay for the bag. Um, okay and then this was another meal because I wanted to do meals. So I figure like half this and a can of cream of mushroom and then if you have uh, ground beef at home we eat this all the time. This is like you know an easy dinner. I usually put two cans of cream of mushroom and one package of pasta and then a pound of ground beef. But I figure if you're just, um, you can use half of this with one can and it would just be just as creamy and good. Whether or not you add the ground beef is up to you, but I thought that would be like a nice complete meal. And then um, the ziti was 98 cents. The cream of mushroom was 68 cents. And then these were 43. I got two and these are my favorite. They're the three cheese mac and cheese. Of course, like one box makes three servings. So this is six meals right here. Of course, if you make one box, you add tuna, you add ground beef, whatever you wanna to add to it, you can totally stretch it out. But my thought process was used a quarter count of these for your bean and cheese burritos or half a can. With the other half, you can make some chili mac. I thought that would be really good. And then for this meal, you can add some of your home canned tomatoes or your regular store-bought canned tomatoes. And then if you have a little ground beef, what was left over from this half pound you use right here, you can use it in this meal. So I was thinking with all of these things, you could easily have a week's worth of like lunches or dinners and uh, it only costs you five bucks. So that's really cool. Also, I grew up in a Mexican household, so I grew up on tortillas. We did not eat like a lot of dinner rolls with our meals. We ate tortillas with our meals. So I'm saying that because instead of just having this option, you know, the bean and cheese burritos, you can make tortillas for breakfast burritos. You can make them for lunch. You can make them with dinner. 
these go with all meals. <laughs> so I just wanted to mention that too. Anyways, let me know what you think of this $5 Friday haul. Use any of these items. Have you tried this mac and cheese? It's so yummy. It's like the best one. Um, it's even like good compared to like the Kraft mac and cheese. I, I love this. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe and I'll, we'll talk soon. Bye guys.